Welcome everybody. It looks like we have a full house tonight. Who's ready for a triple threat? Okay, Titans, you guys ready for another culinary clash? Ready. All right. I'm undefeated. I can't be beaten. Over the course of his career, he's opened over 25 restaurants. He's a James Beard Award winner. Tonight you'll be cooking against Chef Jonathan Sawyer. <laughs> Woo! Hi, Chef. Hi, Chef. Okay, here are the rules of the game. There's three head-to-head -head rounds. For the first two rounds, I pick the two ingredients, and you pick the Titan. In the third round, is worth double, it's worth 20 points. If you're able to beat the Titans, you get $25,000 in cash. Got it? Got it. Okay, Jonathan, you guys have 40 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, go Chef. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what these chefs do. Tiffany, what's in the pressure cooker? Turkey wing and clams. Right. <laughs> Ooh. That sounds delicious. Getting entry to the speakeasy really inspired me with this dish. I'm making a speakeasy-inspired raw bar with horseradish apple mignonette. Next, it's time to shuck all of the oysters. Oh, best one yet. You guys nervous about Jonathan? Jonathan makes me nervous because I know he can cook anything. Yeah, he's not afraid. No. He'll run through a brick wall to make sure that the dish tastes good. I have to say, this is a very, very tough battle. Six. Jonathan is sweating. 23 minutes, you guys. I think the Titans are nervous. I'm here today to win. Ooh, hoo -hoo. almost lost the tendon on that one. I got a lot to do with only a little bit of time. Gotta finish my raw bar, and I gotta get started frying these oysters. Apple and horseradish. Two peas in a pod. Chef, that's what I'm doing. No, you're not. <laughs> I love this. You know, great minds think alike, Chefy. <laughs> Chef, I'm not doing that. Tiffany's in the blender with two minutes left. What? You got this, Tiffany. She's shaking. Eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, everybody, stop your cooking. My god. Oh, no! She's in a fetal so position. Stressed. She was stressed. <laughs> All right, Tiffany, you're done, so you can stop sweating. Jonathan still has two more rounds to go. We're going to put him on the treadmill. Michael, Jonathan, you both have 40 minutes to make two dishes. You ready? Ready. Set. Go. Let's go, go, Michael! Go. Michael may be at risk here. So I'm hoping the complexity of his dishes will work in my favor. You just want to build some caramelization and crust on the outside and then freeze it almost raw. First thing I'm doing is starting on my blackened uh, meat and potatoes dish. Yeah, I'm making blackened uh, steak frites. Blackened like Voltaggio blackened? Blackened like black. Wow. Vintage Voltaggio. Cognac. This is going to go with the steak and brulee blue cheese. The four footer! <laughs> <laughs> We both got the cognac. I like the idea of cognac and beef. It's classic. Both chefs are doing carpaccio and seared steak. So we're going to definitely be able to compare them steak to steak and carpaccio to carpaccio. I think it's going to come down to who executed the best technique. Michael, how you doing, brother? I'm living, chef. I'm are living. Are you doing a carpaccio? I am, chef. I love it. I am hoping that my decision to employ a little bit more aggressive technique is going to get me the win. Michael, you got a pan on for your steaks? Steak is not cooking yet. Are you worried about his time? I'm always worried about his time. He really? just takes on so much. Yeah. There's something that's magical about a little bit of sugar caramelized on top of a piece of blue cheese. The sugars will balance out the beefy richness of that filet mignon. I love broccoli rabe with the steaks because the bitter, verdant flavor of broccoli rabe goes great against the cognac sauce and the blue cheese. One minute to go. Oh my gosh. For the carpaccio, it's all about layering these flavors in the last second. So I need to add parsley, arugula, the shredded blue cheese, and peppercorn. Ugh. 10 oh. seconds. That's my no. 10, 10. 10, 9, no. Don't throw it, chef. Don't throw it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Woo! Woo! Stop your cooking, you guys. Oh my god. I'm really happy with my dishes, but I see Voltaggio's plates. They're beautiful. All right, chefs, this is the final round. Nothing you can't take over. As you guys know, in this round, Jonathan will be choosing the two ingredients. And that is worth double the points, so it's worth 20. This will be the hardest round for the Titans. There's a lot riding on this round. This round is worth double the points, which means we could be up right now and potentially lose. 